The Valimo BFES 100 is a battery operated electrostatic sprayer that produces complete surface coverage and reduces solution use by 70% or more compared to a conventional sprayer. Inside the VFES 100, an electrostatic generator ionizes air into positive and negative ions. The positive charges are deposited to the solution inside the tank, while the negative charges are automatically conducted to the ground via the electrode at the bottom. The electrostatic principle works a lot like magnetic poles. Opposites are attracted to each other. On the atomic level, everything in our world is slightly negatively charged. So now the positively charged solution is attracted to the naturally occurring negatively charged surfaces, which cause the solution to wrap around and coat all sides of objects and surfaces. Before showing our BFDS 100 electrostatic sprayer in action, let's first look at a common sprayer. This sprayer has an adjustable tip, which allows for a light spray to heavy spray jet. However, when spraying an area for disinfecting, it will only coat the surface directly in its path. And by the nature of the nozzle, even on the lightest setting, will spray more solution than you probably want. Nobody wants to clean up after disinfecting. The VF ES100 electrostatic sprayer comes with a couple of nozzle options. Here we will use the recommended fog fogging nozzle. The brass nozzle consists of a tiny piston and spring, which creates a fine fogging mist when sprayed, about 40 to 90 microns. This alone will help reduce the amount of solution to be used. Disinfecting solution isn't cheap, so using 70% less is a big deal. And this is sufficient to coat all sides of the surface due to the electrostatic process that is going on inside the tank. When an area and objects are sprayed with the fog of solution, the positively charged solution will fall and be pulled into the negatively charged surfaces, coating even the backside and inside of objects. Almost magic. The VFES 100 electrostatic sprayer also comes with an adjustable spray nozzle, like that of the common sprayer nozzle, but adjustable down to a finer mist. This nozzle is used with some wettable powders. However, when using disinfection solutions, like Clorox's Total 360, the brass fogging nozzle will provide the best results while using less solution and not leaving behind thick coating of solution. Here we have been demonstrating with plain water, but when running chemicals through the sprayer, we recommend that you read the safety advice provided by the solution provider. It's never a bad idea to wear eye protection and a mask, even if not required to, especially when using a powered sprayer that produces a misting fog of chemicals. A key feature of our Valimo VFES 100 electrostatic sprayer is that the electrostatic process is auto-grounding and contained in the tank. Some other models have electric wires running to the hand grip. Ours is all contained. However, this does mean that the sprayer shouldn't be powered on while sitting on the ground. At least a four inch air gap needs to be created between the bottom of the tank and the ground before powering on to prevent an excess amount of static charge fueling. Also, during normal use, there is some potential of receiving a small static zap if one touches the tip or if solution dribbles down the wand to your hand. It's not painful or dangerous, but will certainly get your attention. It's like rubbing your socks on carpet and then touching someone else. Be sure that all fittings are snug, hand tight, not over tight, which will make nice watertight connections, preventing charged solution from coming into contact with your hand. Wearing rubber gloves will help prevent unintended static zaps as well. If, without wearing gloves, you receive a static zap, this is probably due to, due to the wand and the wand handle being wet. Sometimes moisture is hard to see, but it can be present, which creates an electrical current path from the nozzle down to the handle. Drying this with a rag should correct the issue. Also, some current could leak through the threaded fittings if not fully tightened before spraying. The fittings might not actually leak, but the charged solution might have worked up through the threads a bit and come into close proximity with the hand. To correct this, disassemble the threaded connections and thoroughly dry both the female and male threads before putting everything back together. Again, ensure a tight fit is achieved, but only hand tight. Don't over tighten with any of, uh, additional tools. Spraying with water is a great way to develop your technique. In general, the fog spray should be released into the air above the target areas to allow it to fall slowly giving time for the charged particles to be pulled into all sides of the surfaces. 
For the electrostatic process to work the best, you should spray an area not more than two to three feet below the wand nozzle. Spray out and in front, not above you. Spraying above you will expose yourself and the wand to being coated as well, which could lead to a static zap like we mentioned before. Also, no one wants to be coated in cleaning chemicals. Note that when you release the trigger, the unit will continue to spray for a few seconds. This is because pressure is built up in the poles between the trigger and the nozzle due to the fogging nozzle creating a back pressure. Something to plan for in your technique. Spraying wide general areas for total coverage is recommended. Less is best so long as a light coating is achieved. Let the electrostatic process do the work for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're here to help.